Hello, beautiful. Today, we celebrate the day of love. Now, I know what you are thinking. What singular item, what object can truly express the deepest valley of my care and passion for that special someone in my life? One word. Lego. So let us enjante to the back and see what Lego we have. Which one will you pick to express your deepest desires for plastic building blocks? Prepare for passion. Well, good morning, everyone. And you know what day it is. It is Monday. That means we've got another haul. And we got a bunch of cool stuff to show you guys. And for once, the back area is actually very clean, thanks to Angie and Randy doing such a fantastic job making sure we can actually see what's going on. Awesome. All right, let's dive in here. We got quite a few built sets here. Looks like we got a uh, set from Trolls World Tour. Looks like a very cool pink hot air balloon. I don't see any minifigures, but there's so many cool colors in there. That could work for a variety of things, not just trolls. I'm thinking friends or elves. That's pretty cool. Looks like we have multiple Kylo Ren shuttles over here. I think this is the newer design. And I don't see any characters with those, but the fact that we have two of them suggests that we're starting to get those traded in. Maybe uh, they didn't need uh, the vehicle with, to go with their Kylo Ren and all the characters that come with it. We've got a, looks like a pretty complete Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. This set is really special because it has all that awesome metallic gold pieces in there. Those dishes and those tiles are really cool. They're useful for other stuff besides just uh, NASA stuff. That's a pretty cool set. That'll be going out soon. I'm guessing pretty much built as is. We've got an AT-AT walker here. Looks like it's in pretty good shape overall, except for the front. I think he might have gotten a nose job. Um, he's missing a few pieces on the front, but otherwise looking pretty good. It's hard to tell if they have minifigures inside, but sometimes, nope. Empty cargo area, we're probably good on minifigures with this one too. Alrighty, we've got a Batwing from the Lego Batman movie. It's pretty awesome. We've got the uh, Pose X-Wing there. Looks like it's in very good shape. I don't see any minifigures. That's a pretty cool set. Got a little Avengers flyer here. I like that windscreen, that's a cool piece in that color. Some nice uh, wedge slopes there too, those are cool. We've got a Star Wars ship. I'm not sure what the name of this one was. I think it was kind of a bad guy vehicle. It was kind of like one of those, it's not from the movies, it's a little bit more of the like the Freemakers or something like that. Um, we got plenty of those in the past and they're pretty cool. So. We've got an Avengers helicarrier here. It's a pretty nice vehicle. It's got the um, new style rubber bullet that shoots from the guns, pretty cool. Looks like there aren't any characters of that one either. I think that's a theme with most of these sets here is they don't have the characters, but if they get put out for sale built, you can expect a pretty good savings on those, especially with that 15% off sale we got going on this month. We've got the Quidditch match and look, there's a character. Oh, he doesn't look very good. Looks like he's had some bad plastic surgery. So that's pretty much complete as well, except for characters. Looks like an undersea crab guy here. That's pretty cool. It's got those cool um, green bionicle pieces on the sides. A very nice Lego tractor. That's one thing people are always asking about. It's like, do you have a Lego tractor? I'm like, uh, we probably do, but yeah, here's one right now. We've got a Jurassic World vehicle with two little drones on top and the intact net shooter. That is a pretty cool vehicle. Looks like it's ready to take some damage too. Very armored looking. You've got a Unikitty little vehicle here. It's pretty awesome. Looks like a little uh, propeller plane. 
Speaking of propeller plane, we got an older city one here. Uh, looks like it needs to be dusted off a little bit. That's interesting. Might need a tail as well. I think it's supposed to have a few more pieces on the end. And a, looks like a Clone Wars era artillery piece here. So all those belt sets should be put out for sale soon. If any of them are ones you're looking for, let us know. Give us a call or, um, you know, you can always stop in in the store too. And over here, we've got a bunch of minifigures and bags. I'm not sure if these would have come from the sets over here or if they're separate. Sometimes we don't have all that information on Monday when we are looking at what we've got over the weekend. Looks like we've got a lot of Star Wars stuff in here. Some First Order Troopers, some AT-AT pilots. That makes me think that they came from that set over there. We've got some more Star Wars characters, some Jedi, some Sith. There's a... Uh, Kylo Ren, or was he a Sith? I don't know. I'd have to watch the movies again. Got a Magna Guard, a few more First Order Troopers. And this looks like more mixed themes, like you got some Chima, you got some Jurassic World, a little more Star Wars, some series figures, even some, uh, excuse me, even some original classic space figures. That's not a reissue, that's the original. There's a Futron figure too, that's really cool. Some very nice stuff. And then we got a couple Obi-Wan Kenobi 20th anniversary figures. Those are nice, especially unopened. So that's cool. We also got quite a few new sealed sets. And uh, I think most of these are still new retail as well. So they should be priced at retail price, unless they're retired, which I don't think any of these are yet. I'm not 100% sure, so... Definitely check back if you're interested in any of these. You've got a little city fire. Um, it's like a little four-wheeler with a little scoop on the front. That's pretty cool. You got a couple of Mario sets. Master Your Adventure. And Toad's Treasure Hunt. It's pretty cool. I love those mushrooms. Those look cool. Of course, these do not include the Mario character, so you have to get that separately. You got the space mining mech. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Look at that little alien. He's like, Rah! whatever aliens say. I don't know. Another Mario set. Wiggler's Poison Swamp. Ooh, that's cool. The Safari Wildlife Treehouse. With that cool giraffe. Got the Death Star Final Duel over here. That is just a very iconic set. I'm glad they make it every couple of years. I like this version a lot. You've got the Joker's trike chase here. Look at the teeth on that thing. That's pretty cool. Got Harley Quinn, Batman the Joker, and Robin. Can't forget Robin. And that looks like it for the new sealed sets here. We always have more stuff over here. And two of the new really cool things we've got. The Ninjago City Docks and Ninjago City. And you can see they're both built over here. There's the awesome Ninjago City building. And here's the very collectible Ninjago City Docks buildings here. Looks like all the minifigures are there too. And some of them were special to that set. So that's a pretty cool find here. I'm not sure if those are going to get sorted and inventoried, or if they're going to be put up for sale. We're kind of always deciding, well, that one's worth inventorying, or, well, that one has so many pieces, it'd probably be better to sell already built. So definitely check back with us on that one. We've got some medium-sized Star Wars vehicles in here. Looks like we got the... Uh, Midi scale Imperial Star Destroyer, or maybe that's even micro scale because they're so big. You've got the older, uh, I think I want to say that's a B Wing. Uh, okay, yeah, because it's shaped like an X, but it's actually a B. I think that's the B Wing. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong, it's early. We've got a little Avenger set here Iron Man versus Thanos. These new rubber shooters are cool. And that's a little bit more for the younger audience of the 4 Plus. Got some Christmas ornaments here. Got a Creator Space Shuttle set. That's a nice scale for that set kind of set. 
Got a few more Star Wars and Batman down there. Looks like a little pile of minifigures that hadn't been bagged up. You've got some CMFs, a few Castle, Ninjago, and um, looks like a few non-Lego Mario characters as well. I think those are either the Connects or the Mega Constructs. So they're hanging out too. We've got Darth Vader's castle on Mustafar. And this one actually has the figures, some of which are only found in this set. So very cool to see that. Like there's Darth Vader just chilling in his back to tank. That's pretty cool. That's when we might end up inventorying. We'll have to see. I should probably discuss with Angie what the plan is for all these sets so we know what their eventual destination is. Here's a bunch of cool older Star Wars vehicles in here. Ooh, you know, it's funny. The Naboo Starfighter was, you know, everyone kind of liked it, but now everyone likes it. This one's really special because of uh, a certain series that is released on Disney+. Plus. So minor spoilers if you haven't seen the latest Star Wars series. So There's the Magna Guard shuttle or uh, ship. I'm not sure if, what's it, what it's called. We've got... Another built Star Wars ship there. That one looks like it's in pretty rough shape. You've got a creator house. And it looks like some stickered anime characters in here. <laughs> looks like a little Dragon Ball Z-ish. But they're just chilling in there too. Got a few more Star Wars mechs and droids here. And then looks like a few extra pieces from what looks like a Magna Guard shuttle or something else here. There we go. And that's about it for the haul today, guys. Not a ton of stuff, but some pretty cool things. Stuff we don't always get in. Like, I haven't seen the docks in several months. So, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. You want to see more of these. And, um... Definitely get in touch with us if any of these sets look really interesting to you. Give us a call, uh, send us an email, check out our website, atlbrick.com. Thanks a bunch, guys. Y'all have a great Monday.